Welcome people of the World Wide Web. So it's Cypher Sigma here, it's a Monday morning and as you know we go for the collection in depth. So it is episode 35, um, so yeah we're on that main big wall with the transformers and stuff on top so we're getting through it so that's what you come here to see. I'm not going to beat around the bush and let's get into it. So we come into this week's uh, um, collection in depth. So we'll start with this side first. So we have the new version of the A-Team. I don't own any of the old version. I quite like this one. It wasn't the greatest. Um, it was a nice kind of modern uh, take on it, which is I enjoyed. Um, you, but you're never going to touch. And then we have the Avenging Fist. So this is an early martial art movie. Um, I greatly, greatly like this uh Samo Hong in it there. Obviously, they use their hands as mobile phones and stuff. Some kind of cutting edge one, but it, it was quite a nice martial arts. Uh, the Aviator, probably one of my favourite Leonardo DiCaprio movies. I think he was absolutely amazing in this. I feel he should have won. You know, if I could put all of his works together, this would be rare, there at the top, and I feel he should have won an Oscar for it. But hey ho, you don't always get what you want. And then you've got the Awakening. I've never seen it, so I don't know. It's kind of. Uh, yeah, I buy quite a few horrors here and there, but I don't get around to watching them all. Then we have The Bachelor, Rene Zellweger, and a very young Chris O'Donnell, about obviously all of him being a bachelor and everybody chasing him, as the picture shows. Saw it a long, long time back in the day, um, but I've not seen it since. So then we go into the backup plan. So Jennifer Lopez, early 2000s. Uh, it was all right, I say. I'm, I, there's not been that many Jennifer Lopez movies that I thought have been really good. Uh, then this is my wife. She really liked this series. And obviously that's why we had the movie. Uh, Jack, she does like Jack Whitehall. Then we have The Bank Job, Jason Statham. Can't really remember this, so you may not have seen it. Um, there's no label on it. Um, then we have The Batman Movie. Really, really like this. Again, it's one I really need to watch. So I'm going to keep this out and add it to my watch pile. As you see, there, I have The Abyss on it as well, because people keep saying I should really see it. Then we have The Beach, Leonardo DiCaprio. A good movie, never read the book, so I can't compare it, but not bad in my eyes. Um, the Beast TV series, label is still on it, still on it, so I haven't seen it. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments down below. Patrick Swayze. See, I think that one of the last things he did before his death. Um, the Beaver, yeah, really weird movie about a puppet that Mel Gibson kind of befriends and then has its own personality, but it was all right. Um, and then Bench Warmers, I thought this was quite funny. David Spade, and obviously, I think the bloke who plays a pony of dynamite there. John Hedder, I believe his name is. Right. So then we have the best exotic marigold hotel uh, never seen it um, heard a lot of good things about it so that's why i bought it for the collection we'll get around to watch it one day the best of me really like this movie like michelle Montague, and i really like cyclops lair uh, james marsden that's his name then we have the bfg me and my wife went to see this at the cinema we really liked it with the farting corgis good old Ronda. then obviously the big bang theory so season one to I wasn't the biggest fan of this. I do warm to it over time. Um, free there. See, I like I get all the superhero references and stuff like that because I am a geek myself. Season four, five, one I probably could do with updating for the complete box set. Six, seven. I believe there's twelve series, and I only have. As you will see here, series eight. So I am missing some. Then we had the big bounce. Yeah, it's kind of an odd ball ensemble cast. I didn't think much to this when I did watch it back in the day. Uh, the Big Lebowski are probably one of those people that I weren't the biggest fan of this. I've watched it twice now, both times. Yeah. But I'll keep it in the collection because it is a classic. Uh, the Big Shorts, uh, never seen it. 
that's, that's what labels on there. Again, heard good things about it, but I'll get around to watch it one day. Uh, the Big Wedding, uh, I have watched this. It was okay. Uh, I do like Topher Grace and that. It's a good ensemble cast, obviously, and Robin Williams there. Um, then we had The Big White, not seen it. Um, so I can't really tell you. Oh, it is Robin Williams. Or maybe I have seen it and just don't remember it. The Big Year, it's not got Robin Williams in it. But yeah, kind of a, a modern day comedy type thing. Yeah, but again, wasn't the greatest. But <laughs> Robin Williams is back again for the Birdcage. He obviously likes Tartars with the in it. Um, and Gene Hackman. I thought this was all right. Funny in places. Uh, the Black Delilah, um, if I pronounce it right, it's kind of a horror who done it one. So it's based off another. I didn't mind it. It's a kind of set as a grittier older time, but I think it all worked quite well. Um, one of my favourite movies from a few from 2021 was Black Phone. Um, I did really really like this movie. I'm the son of Stephen King. Um, then we have Black Sheep Affair. Have not seen it, so I can't tell you anything about it, unfortunately. The Bloody Fight. Again, not seen it. I had labels ripped off there, but I've not seen it, so I can't say. Then we have The Blue Planet, David, narrated by David Attenborough. I, obviously, me and my wife like the water and penguins and stuff like that, so I bought it, but we've never got around to watching it. And then the final one off this shelf as stuff gets fallen out is the Blues Brothers. So the original one. Now, I do really like that movie. Obviously, the soundtrack, who can beat it? Yeah, we go. So we're in there. So let's go to the next shelf. Then we have the boat that rocks. Never seen it. Heard a lot of stuff about it. We'll get round to watch it one day. Again, if you've seen any, if you've seen any of the movies I've not seen, please let me know in the comments down below. The Bodyguard. Me and my wife rewatched this last year. I thought it was quite good. I do. I'm a big fan of Kevin Costner, um, and I think that was quite a night. They did work well together. The Bone Collector, a great Denzel Washington, Angelina Jolie, who kind of who done it, serial killer. Another brilliant movie, The Book of Eli. Absolutely love this. The twist at it is amazing. Uh, I didn't see it coming. Uh, the Book of Life, as you see, labels on there, so not seen it, so I can't tell you. Looks a little bit like Coco, but I think it was released before Coco. Uh, then we have The Bounty Hunter, uh, Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston. It was all right. I think it was kind of very similar to the Catherine Heigl one. Um, but it doesn't really stick in my memory. Then we have The Born Identity, Matt Damon coming into his own there. And then we follow up with Supremacy, Ultimatum. Legacy and then Jason Bourne a movie that I did not really like too dark there was a lot of aspects that it did not do well in my eyes but again the label's on it so it's one to re-watch uh, then we have the box uh, quite like this obviously a mysterious box comes up and obviously you press it you kill somebody but you get like loads of money what would you do and then I kind of, I really, really like this one. So this is the box trolls. I have these pop vinyl figures. This is a great kind of the stop motion animation thing. Really, really great. Really kind of interesting ideas. Um, I'll say this is the problem. We're trying to slot stuff in. So then we have the brave one, a great Megan Foster. Megan Foster? Yeah, Jodie Foster even, sorry. Um, her and her partner, who you may remember from um, Saeed from Lost. He, there's obviously an altercation, and then it's kind of the uh, consequences of that altercation. I won't go into too much. Obviously, The Breakfast Club, a classic who cannot like, not dislike that movie. Then we have The Breakup, more Jennifer Aniston movie, Vince Vaughn. I didn't mind it. I say it don't it wasn't the greatest. Uh the Brother Solomon, never seen it. Um again it one to probably watch at some point. Bucket list, I have seen this. It's quite a great movie. And Morgan Freeman and Jack Nicholson did did work really, really well together. 
Um, the Butler, I watched this last year. I thought this was a um, a brilliant movie. Very interesting to learn about like the stuff that went on as it is inspired by a true story. Obviously, Forrest Whitaker does really, really good in the role. And then we have the butterfly effect. Uh, and Amy Smart and Ashton Kutcher, obviously, in the time travel you know what happens if you change events and then the butterfly effect too which i didn't think was that good erica durant's in there from smallville fame um then really good the cabin in the woods i really really like this movie thought this was the concept and how they brought everything together very young chris hemsworth there the cable guy a movie i've seen twice and did not like twice again like the big lebowski um, maybe again, I, some, Jim Carrey I'd have really liked, but there's just some roles just irritate me, and that's one of them. Um, the Calcium Kid, a very cheesy Orlando Bloom movie, where he's a boxer and he likes milk. Then let's start getting here. So we have Halle Berry in the call, where she's a first responder, and the girl gets kidnapped and she has to help out. Really good movie, got a good ending, I believe. Um, so you superheroes there, this is a, the cape, I liked this, it's a very cheesy 90 TV series about a kind of circus performer who becomes a, a vigilante, um, uh, the carriers, never seen it, even though the label's not on it, so I can't really tell you much about it, and we have the cat in the hat, Mike Myers, didn't mind this, quite like Dr. Zeus, the cave, Another movie I really like is a bit of, I think it's a bit of horror where they go into a cave and then there's kind of creatures in there and they've got to survive, if memory serves me right. The Cell, I haven't seen this in so long that I cannot remember. Um, so I will just not comment because, as I say, it's been so long. The Chaperone, a really bad Triple H movie. I think it's two and a half hours long as well, which is probably more than a, a WrestleMania almost, probably nowadays. <laughs> Then we get into the Narnia movies. So the first one, The Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe. I liked these, watched these as a kid on TV, so it's quite nice to revisit these. Prince Caspian, which was the second one. And then the third one, which I've never seen, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Um, so probably something to go revisit. Then we have The Chronicles of Riddick, Pitch Black. The first one of this trilogy, and because it's the Chronicles, that's why it sits here, even though Pitch Black is the first one. Blind F Dark Fury, sorry, the animated movie. These are kind of done as I think situated as where they came out. The Chronicles of Riddick, or Timeline. Then Riddick, look forward to them actually hopefully finishing off this. I thought that was a bit disappointing if that is the one with Dane Judy Dench, and something it just lacked. And then we have the change up, the Ryan Reynolds, Jason Bateman comedy. And that's it for this episode.